Hello there, beauty lovers! In this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this spring-inspired look. So, stay tuned! Okay, here I've just finished applying sunblock and moisturizer to my face. Hmm, something's missing. Oh, foundation and eyebrow, of course. Just do your usual foundation and eyebrow routine. I skipped this just to make the tutorial faster. Now it's time for contouring. Using my Creolan contour stick, I put some on my finger and blend it to the sides of my nose. Using the lightest color on this cream foundation, I blend it to the bridge of my nose and T-zone. With my MAC Pro Longwear foundation in NW50 and with a sponge applicator, I blend it to the side of my cheeks. Find that small curve near your ear and use that as the starting point for the contouring process. Don't forget to also apply some to the jaw and hairline area for a more defining shape. Here, I combine some of the creme and white foundation and apply it to my under eye area for an extra coverage. Also, apply in the areas that you want to accentuate, such as the center of your forehead and the cheekbones. On to the eyes. For a long-lasting eye makeup, apply some eyeshadow base before applying the eyeshadow. Use it on the entire lids. Using this champagne colored eyeshadow, I apply it on my upper lid and blend it well. Next, taking this gorgeous hot pink eyeshadow, I apply it on the outer part of the eyelid and the crease area. It is very important to take the time to blend everything well. The key is blending. Taking this bright yellow eyeshadow, I apply it to the center and the inner corners of my eyelid. This color combination is inspired by the blooming sakura flowers in the spring. Using the same hot pink as before, I apply it to the outer V of the eye. And using the same bright yellow eyeshadow, I apply it to the waterline. Continue building up the colors until you find the perfect intensity. Do the same to the other eyelid. Here, I apply some falsies for a more flirtatious look. Next is the lips. Using a nude pink pencil liner, I fill in my entire lips. And using this pink lipstick by Revlon, I apply it to my entire lips as well. With this orange pinkish eyeshadow by Essence, I use it for the blush. Use what's left of it on the tip of your nose, your chin, and your forehead. Almost done! Style your hair, and to accentuate the spring feel, I tried out some of my DIY flower crowns. In the end, I choose this sakura flower crown and we're done!
working on this project with a lot of beauty youtubers from Indonesia so you can also check out the links to their spring uh, inspired makeup tutorial on the description box below thank you so much for tuning in I hope you like this video and please click the like button below also please do like the other youtubers spring makeup tutorial look videos too because there are also awesome videos you should check out their channel subscribe to them if you haven't also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and thank you so much for tuning in again and i hope to see you in the next video subscribe to my channel if you haven't bye bye